Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, Thursday 19th of January. Got a quick one for you this morning. Um, I'm just in the middle of writing a talk I've got to give tonight to the uh, Womborn and District Scientific and Historical Society. Uh, so if you fancy coming along, 7.30 Community Centre here. We normally get about 60, 70, 80 uh, people coming along. So uh, do come along, I'm giving a talk called The Shipping Forecast. Uh, that's if you can get here of course many of you i know are miles away in different parts of the world um but that's what i'm up to through today so hence the reason the video is quite quick and uh, they'll be amusing on later today as well um i want to focus again on the middle part of next week um because this is where we see most of the chops and changes in the models um they're a little bit uh, awry today in that they're not all going consistently for colder air but let me just show you what's going on the nao the north atlantic oscillation is forecast to stay look within this neutral to slightly negative territory and you'll notice all the runs there look all the spaghettis are within that area too only just one or two just starting to pick up towards the end here so i think that's pretty good um a pretty good indication that these westerlies across the atlantic remain weakened during the coming few days and uh, that's one of the reasons for talking about colder weather from next week arctic oscillation uh, well that really takes a dive look into real negative territory this is quite a plunge um and this means that cold air can drain off the pole it can come down into more uh, mid latitudes and it looks like that's what's going to happen that's what i think is going to be affecting the british isles just a quick look at the charts for the middle part of next week this is how the gfs sees it from the six o'clock run it's this trough here look this green color this is what i'm interested in yeah the surface stuff's interesting which is the white lines here these are the isobars with low pressure here and just look at that cold plunge of air down through the country so that could bring some wintry weather during next thursday that's how the gfs operational sees it Here's how the ECNWF sees it from midnight last night. Now, notice this chart is actually for uh, a few hours earlier than the previous one. This is for midnight on Thursday. But look still, the trough is still there. So we've got a reasonable agreement here between these two models that this low is moving its way eastwards with this trough and that we could get this cold plunge coming in during the course of Friday. And if we look at the Canadian, this is how that sees it. Look, for the same time, midnight Thursday again. Look, there's the trough there's the low the agreement is there that it looks as if that is what is going to be taking place now let's just see what the next uh, canadian chart does you see this is friday by midnight it's not bringing it through as quickly as the gfs is but this is still on the cold side of the jet stream so i'm still going to keep my forecast that we were looking at yesterday this cooler weather starting to come in proper from the middle of next week lasting into next weekend i'll have more detail for you later and i'll put some detail on the musings too but for now thanks for watching and keep the sun shining